This video features Stock Llama. Stock Llama is a llama based time series forecasting model enhanced with a specialized floating point embedding architecture to improve accuracy. In this video, we are going to install it locally and then we will see how can we do stock prediction with the help of Stock Llama. This Stock Llama's architecture allows the Llama model to work effectively with non integer data types as well. The creator has also pre trained the model on NASDAQ stock data using the MSE loss function, and the results have been quite surprising. This work highlights how successful the transformer architecture can be with data types like time series. The stock llama model is comparable and compatible with the Hugging Face ecosystem, allowing you to leverage specialized training and testing techniques available within that ecosystem. As a result, you can easily train and test the model on any NASDAQ stock, cryptocurrencies and other specific stocks using any custom Hugging Face space, which supports LoRa or low rank adaptation for fine tuning. Also, they have multiple models already present on Hugging Face and I will drop the link to it in video's description. Before I show you the installation and how it works, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs, so do check them out. Okay, enough said, let me take you to my terminal. So this is where I am running Ubuntu 22.04 and this is the GPU card I have NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. Let me create a virtual environment with Conda. I am just calling it stock. If you don't know what Conda is, how to install it, please search my channel. I have done heaps of videos on Conda in a very easy to understand way. So I am sure that you will be able to install it with the help of it. So let's wait for it to get created. So the environment is created. Let's also install some of the prerequisites, which include torch and transformers. And I'm installing it from the source to get the latest version. So the prerequisites are done. Let me clear the screen. And next up, let's git clone the repo of stock llama. That is done. Let's go into it. And let's see what's inside. Sorry. And then go to source and clear the screen there should be a requirements file so we need to install all the requirements for stock llama with the pip command so let me run it i'm just going to go pip and then requirements.txt this is going to take a bit of a time so let's wait for it to finish and that is all done let's also run Jupyter Notebook and we are going to download and then install the model there and then we will play around with it to see how can we generate the prediction with this time series model. So let's wait for it to get launched in the browser. So Notebook is launched. Let's import the libraries which we have installed plus also download this model Stock Llama. It has started downloading the model. The model seems quite small to me, just 708 meg, which is great. Let's wait for it to get downloaded fully and loaded onto a GPU. And that is done. And now let me show you how you can use this model. This is a code from their GitHub repo and I will drop the link to it in video's description. So you see, we are just giving it 365 days in a year and then we are defining some of the data uh, some of the functions to get the stock data to, from yahoo finance and then we are predicting the future prices with the help of model as you can see and from there this is the data which is being prepared just casting the data type here and then by using pytorch we are just getting some logics which are the raw probabilities and then getting the data back from the model and this is a typical inference from the uh, any time series model there where we are just calculating some of the deltas in the pandas uh, data set and then getting the combined prices historical and prediction and then by using matplotlib we are plotting the graph here and this is where it is being done so let me run it 
and it has finished running let's go down to see there you go so this is our graph how good is that so it has just plotted the graph as you can see month by month and then these are the uh, price axis and then this is a combined historical and predicted prices so blue is the historical and then orange dotted line is the predicted one it's the same thing which we have plotted above here as you can see in this section of the code and of course you can alter it as per your own requirement and whatever stock predictions you want to make and not only stocks but you can also deal it with a lot of other data here uh, because it's open source you can simply go and change it another cool thing is that you can fine-tune it train it on your own data especially if you're looking to do some predictions on the cryptocurrencies for example if you go to the hugging face page of this stock llama you will see that they already have some of the fine-tuned models for example you see here they have this for ethereum cryptocurrency and this is for bitcoin usd and there are various versions of it so if you keep coming down there is a vlo and then there is some doge coins and the good thing is that not only they have shared the models but they also have shared the data set so for example if you go down and just check out this btc or bitcoin one you will be very surprised to see that they have shared it all you can simply go in and fine tune it so if i just go here go to data set viewer okay so it's not here at the moment i think maybe i just need to click here oops okay they haven't posted it yet okay not yet but i'm more than sure they will so if you look at the model card so this is for btc usd this is for ethereum usd you can simply download it uh, and if you you can just make some price predictions for ethereum here but my suggestion is that never take anything um, to the heart here don't take i mean unless you do your own due diligence do your own research and you know what you are doing only then make any financial decision on the basis of recommendations given by uh, this stock llama or any other la large language model and this is i always tell that this is not a financial advice this is not a surefire thing this could be totally wrong and so please don't you know start investing on the basis of predictions made by these models do your own due diligence so but all in all i think i'm quite impressed by the quality of the responses and the ease with which you can not only do the forecasting with the help of this stock llama for stock prices plus the cryptocurrencies but also you can uh, fine tune and train it that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching